You ever went to, to you ever went to a parade? Championship parade? I have not. I, I was too young. Too young. You ever been to a Laker game? <laughs> I have. My mom used to manage uh, Tyron Lue. So, what was your favorite memory at the actual Laker game? Um, just actually being there, a kid, you know, from the inner city that just loved basketball, that you know, passed, uh, keep me out of trouble and stuff like that. So, just watching the game itself, then just seeing a bunch of like these icons, like you said, of a Shaq and Kobe era. You feel me? So, just seeing them doing their thing is like, dang, they giants. And I'm, I'm a small kid growing up. I was like five three until I got to eleventh grade. You know, I'm six one, six two. So it's like, dang. Y'all some huge giants, you feel me? But yeah, I definitely enjoy just watching it and the competitiveness and shit, it took me it took me to, you know, when I get in the game, I clock in on that same thing. If you could ask Kobe to teach you one of his signature moves, what would it be? <laughs> uh the signature move. I wish I had some springs, you feel me? Uh <laughs> I, low key, but uh what I can do, shoot, I learned it and and just molded my game around it was that pull up at the elbow, you feel me? I matched it, I could do it left hand, right hand, and uh, shit, I did in the game. So shit, that's what I was looking forward to, and shit, just coming down the court, pulling up. What is your favorite Kobe memory? Uh, Kobe memory. It doesn't have to be basketball, it could be anything. Uh, shoot, okay, uh, favorite Kobe memory. Um. The Shaq and Kobe era, uh, when he gave him the lob, I thought that was real dope. Um, and then just him coaching his daughter and just teaching, you know, just being around the family and just showing leadership and all dynamics. I think uh, that was real dope. Yeah, so. So you got the eight, the 24 on, you got the C now, you got the Laker cap. Man, you know what time it is. Inspire us. Man, I'm about to inspire everybody real quick, man. Be who you want to be. Don't let nobody tell you no. And uh, just stick, make a plan, stick to it, you feel me? Stay down, like bro said, and then said it too. Um, just, you know, just do what you gotta do. And everybody gonna flock. And that's just part of life, you feel me? Or just bond. Clock in, not out. Yes, sir! It's at 8.30 now, you got anything else? Uh, yeah. Kobe embodies what clock in, not out is. So, in my mind, this brand is gonna live forever just because People like that, that got that impact and the legacy. They just put in that hard work, the dedication, and just being determined and committed to something. That's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's easy to get distracted from Instagram and social media days, and there's a bunch of stuff going on in the life and the world, um, from these scares from the world wars and all that stuff, and the president. So, uh, yeah, man, just stay committed and dedicated to your craft, man, and it's going to reward you in so many ways that you can't even imagine, you feel me? So stay tuned and stay down and leave that legacy, man. So clock in, not out, and don't tell me, show me. <laughs> R.I.P. Nip, R.I.P. Kobe.